afternoon. Welcome back uh, to Cannon Fodder again. We've got a Saturday show and we've got familiar faces from Central and South America. <laughs> I kid you not. The channel, literally for Arsenal fans all over this world. I'm so happy to have Miss Amigos. No, Miss Hermanos, my brothers. Back <laughs> together again. Yeah, yeah. But still, we're going to be like reviewing the game that happened yesterday. Yeah, Arsenal back in action yesterday against uh, the Eagles. Yeah, in South London. We might be talking about the all and I think uh, documentary if um, the guys have seen it. But no doubt they'll be giving their thoughts on the game yesterday. Ah, oh, there I can't wait for this one. See you on the other side of this music intro. Now, I want to get straight into the, the introductions. Straight off. Aldrick, how are you, brother? Long time no see, man. Hello, it's always a pleasure. Yes, it's been a long time, but I'm very happy to share with all my brothers here and talking about what is going to be an exciting season. We started with the right foot, so I'm I'm ready to start with a with a proper show because we have the the documentary that you just mentioned that was a gift for us. The the preseason that we have it started very good. So I think that that documentary was a gift and also to, to give us more hype uh, with, with the beginning of the season. Well well said, bro. Well said, well said. Uh, Cheeky Chappy, who's eating at the moment. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I had a long day and I was working, so I had to. But it's good to be back, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good, man. Really good yes. to see you guys. Um, I was actually watching the documentary before coming on. And it looks exciting. Like they put a really hype on it. Um, the ca the categories though are quite funny because the categories I was just checking them, <laughs> and is <laughs> drama, comedy, <laughs> and sports. <laughs> so, right, okay. Whatever no that is. No romance or bromance. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Jonathan! Yay! Hey, bro, how are you? I'm good, Happy. Man. Good to see you back on the channel again, man. Yes, yes, yes. A long time because I had some health issues, a lot of work. Now I have a daughter, so, you know, you know. Uh, but now, really happy with the situation with Arsenal, with the, with the preseason and with the match yesterday and everything. And, and with the shirts are beautiful. I was about to say that. Yeah. Is, are beautiful. <laughs> I hate Adidas because they always make me spend a lot of money. <laughs> you know, let's get straight into it. I'm going to go to Aldrit first. Your, your thoughts on the game yesterday? Because, I, I, listen, the most important thing is we got the win. Uh, we got to see the players back together in, in the Premier League. And we didn't lose. But there were just a couple of things, issues that I wasn't quite happy with. We didn't have control of, of the majority of the game. The first, I'll say, maybe 30 minutes. But apart from that, Crystal Palace, if they had a, an out-and-out -out striker, they would have probably scored those opportunities there. But give you, give me your opinion on the game yesterday, Aldrick. Well, you, you, you just said it, my friend. Um, it's a fact. Um, the way how the game started was amazing. The intensity that the team showed at, at the very first 30 minutes, um, it was unbelievable. It's what they show us at the preseason. I can tell you, I'm happy for the result. I'm happy for the clean sheet. But this is good because, well, we were very hyped about how we played against Chelsea and how we played against Everton, that they are our direct rivals on, on the Premier League. and well, one thing that we have to fix is, is to maintain that that intensity. We make that goal. And, and this is something that happens like every season. I think that there there is something mental on the team. We score the goal and then we forget how to play or or the strategy, the game strategy that we have at the beginning that ends as soon as we score the goal. Instead of making a good factor mentally, like we, we we try to keep up with that goal and and try not to look for more but i i like what i saw the new signings that are there are 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 committed to the team they are making a difference 
uh, Sinchenko and Jesus, they play very well. It was their very first match with us. Um, we know that they are that they know the league that they know how to compete they they are recent champions with manchester city but i i think that that's good that's good for the team to know that this is not going to be easy for all the fans too that they cannot uh, make high expectations about the team because this is just the starting if we lose that we are going to um they, they cannot lose their heads uh, that that game is it, it was like a bit of reality for all of us to know that this is not going to be an easy way but it's 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 the right it's the right way to do it and if we have to suffer by having those results i mean as soon as we ended up at the top four and we compete for the champions league it doesn't matter how we win as long as we get three points it was a visit we had a clean sheet i can tell you that i am very happy i'm extremely happy fortunately for for us Crystal Palace strikers, they weren't at their days. Um, Aaron Ramsdale saved us, but if you saw their their intercepts, uh, well, they, they hit the ball to him. It wasn't like something that he has to stretch his arm to to make an, an amazing save, but that, that was great for us. I hope that all our rivals has the same, the same, the same lucky that, that the Crystal Palace strikers had during the season. But be, besides that, I can tell you that that I feel comfortable on what I'm seeing. I feel comfortable on what the team is showing, and well, it it, it was an amazing Friday for us. It was an amazing start of the season compared to to the previous one. Yeah. We are winning already. Yeah. Before I go to Jonathan, I, I want to ask you this very very quick question: the situation with uh, Eddie and Ketia. Um, he's got a, a five year uh, new, um, new contract. Um, hundred thousand pounds a week, but for me, I don't think it matters. I see a lot of fans were upset that he was given a number fourteen shirt. Quickly, what's your thoughts about him giving a number fourteen shirt? Does it matter? I think that we we are giving too much importance to something that it's irrelevant. Uh, we know that the fourteen, the number fourteen, it's something well holy for us. We know who carried it, and we have to to leave it as is. Theo Walcott didn't didn't fill out Henry's boots, and he still he he still wear that that number without a problem. We don't have to focus on that. Um, what I would like to, all the fans to see is how committed Eddie is. When we yeah. saw him on preseason, I saw a different Enketia physically, mentally, and and we have a lot of a lot of cups to play. I know that he's gonna be playing the Europa League. He's going to play the FA Cup, the EFL Cup. So we have to give him a chance. And he he knows that this is the season for him to show all the all the people that what he's worth. Um it, it doesn't matter if he if he's using the fourteen, the twenty eight, the thirty five. We have to focus on his performance. And in case that he doesn't do well, well we have to we have to back him up. That that's a big message that we have to transmit to the fans. Um, us, uh, the Arsenal fans, if a player makes a mistake, we are like behind them and criticizing them. We don't have to do that. The bad wood was removed already from the squad. Now we have the proper players, and even if they are using the number 10, the 14, or the 28, we have to back them up. All the players, including Chaka and Pepe, we have to back them up. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, um, your thoughts on the game yesterday, and I'll also ask you a question about Eddie Nketiah wearing a number 14 shirt. Uh, okay. My thoughts uh, about the game, not the same. That I'm happy. <laughs> I, I know it was a difficult match. I, I, I was expecting, you know me, I was expecting a, a lose or, or a draw because, because I have been very positive the last 20 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to suffer anymore. <laughs> so this this season I am trying to be more less hype. But I I don't know. That's that win start to to hype me again. And um, uh, it was a difficult match. Is 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 very is very comfortable to win against the Crystal Palace because remember the last season what happened and they have Vieira, so it has something very very important for us as a as a fan we also um, have Vieira 
<laughs> we also have a Vieira. Our Vieira has a lot of difficult <laughs> with his legs <laughs> and he's very skinny. <laughs> we need to be. <laughs> um, uh, and can Ketia wear in the, the 14th year? I don't have a, any problem with that. That is, that is maybe something that can help him to be more confident and and to be more engaged with the with the fans. He renew, including that he is not the number nine. So he renew with the club that state that he he wants to fight for the club, and he will have his chances. So it, it's good if he can carry the the, the fourteen because it, it, it's it's part of our it's part of our our history. Mm-hmm. So he is being part of our history, and he can be part of the next history that I hope to be <laughs> to, to have a, a, a nice a nice one. Uh, but Jonathan, um, uh, he he's spoken many times about how how much he loves the club. Why didn't he sign the contract a lot sooner than leaving uh, right until the last uh, six weeks to sign yeah. the contract? But why? But, but but you know because Lacazette has his his chances and Enketia no, and at the end of the season Enketia started to have his chances. So he discovered that it's possible to stay in, in the in the club. I didn't I didn't expect that he stays in the club. That is the truth. Mm. Uh, that then like I said did uh, the the cup the, you know you remember the the I don't know uh, the when when like I said says that he, he wants to go to a club with Champions League and whatever he says being a captain and in that moment Arteta take him out of the club uh, of the of the first team so in that moment in Ketia get his chance and use it correctly I think that it was more a matter of he wants to play and Ketia mm-hmm. wants to play he loved the club but he wants to play first he has to worry about himself then mm-hmm. about the club okay mm-hmm. so so once he get the chance he he did it well so I think he's, he's I, I think it was a good negotiation and it was perfectly handled by by Arteta for me yeah Okay. Okay. We, we have to keep in mind that um, this is this is one of our guys from Hale End, giving the Smith Road the number ten and Enketia the fourteen. That that that's a big statement for the club. That would be a huge boost for all the guys on on from Hale End. We we need to keep in mind that that's motivation for our our players in in minor categories. So I think that providing those numbers to to our players the players that we made it's 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 something good um um just just to clarify something i'm not saying like the number 14 is irrelevant we know that that number is even greater than any number on the club for for the history made by henry but that that doesn't have to provide the pressure instead of pressure that has to be motivation for the player yeah, I, I completely. Actually, I was going to go to that comment there, but um, now that you've clarified that, <laughs> our drink, I think we can get, we can go on. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I just don't get it. I, I don't get. It. I mean, for me, I don't. I couldn't care less what number he wears. I understand what Static is saying there. I mean, this, we're not saying the number is irrelevant, but he only needs to go out and prove a lot of the fan base yeah. wrong. That's all he has to do. Forget about the number. Sorry, forget about the number fourteen shirt. Yeah, I have to say it. For me, it's not that important. If the club really wanted not another player to wear the number 14 shirt, what they could have done was just to retire the number 14 shirt. But Aljit, like you say there, it will motivate him. That's all it would do. But for us to be stuck and upset about, you know, he's been given a number 14 shirt. <gasps> Smith Rowe has a number 10 shirt. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. And we're giving it to our proper players. Yeah. Our, our, the players we're making. Yeah. Alfie, you're going to tell me I'm wrong now, aren't you, Alfie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree. No, 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 no. It's a heavy shirt, that one. And uh, I think if you're given the 14th, you need to back it up last season, for example. If you're scoring goals, yep. then you should get the 14. Uh, we did it with Walcott. And he was like a super soup sometimes, and he did well. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think this shirt means a lot, especially if you look at Chelsea. People don't want the number nine, 
Even even the manager is saying, yeah, that that shirt is coarse. Nobody wants to wear the nine. So, um, yeah, I mean, it can be motivation, of course, and and I I see that clearly, but also it can be a heavy weight um, because a lot of expectation is created for him. We can relax and we can say, yeah, yeah, we don't care, but I mean, it's Andre's number. (laughs) <laughs> Alfie, Alfie, but let me ask you something. Do you think that from the moment that he has his chance, he is complying or not complying? If you're asking me, and Getia shouldn't be in Arsenal because I think he's no, not no, good no. enough. Yes, 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 yes. But but remember that if we are without him, without Balogun, without any nine, and Gabriel Jesus has some problem, mm-hmm. we are out of nine. So we, we need him. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, yeah, are, definitely. I mean, that's the decision that the club made, and we have yeah. to respect it. And I see what um, Aldrich is saying, that he's one of the guys um, that came from the academy. But I just don't think he's good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I know, I know that we have... It, it, and it's, about and it's a valid yeah. point. It's a valid point. I, I agree. Uh, well, I, I feel you. I feel you. Because I I know, you, and Ray was in our our guy we bought it from juventus and juventus is not a small club you know and so and I, yeah. and, I, and i feel you but the thing with enketia is that this is his season so he can make the improvement this is the season so he can tell hey alfie i'm here yeah. so we, we have to give him a chance he he is not a regular starter at mm-hmm. the end of the season knowing that like i said wasn't going to renew i think that he did well he did the best he could and he earned that contract extension. We have to give him at least this season for him to but, prove uh, yeah, himself. No, definitely. But I don't know if he earned it or it was more Arsenal like, oh, we need to get two new strikers and that's going to be more difficult. I, I um, think both. He, he earned it. Yeah, both. both, definitely, definitely. But um, this is what happens. I think that you need to fight for the number nine, there must be a competition. Like when you had Lacazette and Aubameyang, you didn't know who's gonna start, who was in better form. But I don't see that with Gabriel Jesus and Enketia. Like obviously Gabriel Jesus is gonna play as much as possible and he doesn't get injured as much. Uh, He's very, very regular. So we know, we all know that Enketia is just a backup for the easier games. but yeah, I think it would have been better if we get an, another striker that can put competition on Gabriel Jesus. But Gabriel Jesus at the moment is playing like Ronaldo the Brazilian, so yeah, leave him alone. <laughs> but but Alfie, someone sent me a stat uh, in regards to Eden Ketia. He scored 10 goals in 51 appearances for Arsenal. And those 51 appearances, he's not had... Um, 90 minutes in each of those appearances. He either come on as a sub or he started and he's been taken off. So I don't think we have a big enough sample. You've got to give him a chance. You've got to give him a complete season to see what he can do. He might just surprise you. But yes, but he's not going to sit down Gabriel Jesus. He's just not. How do you know? We've not given him a good chance. Because he's just not better. That's the thing. He's not... Let me let me tell you something. In the only in the only team that he has a chance to play uh, regularly is in the England squad in the sub twenty three sub twenty, and there he has records. Because mm-hmm. in 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 the other team that he has been in loan, he he cannot have some some completely chance on regular uh, uh, play. Yeah, so, I mean we can we can go to the statistics, but statistics can be manipulated. For example, Shaka. Yeah had a yellow card for every single reason in the thing. <laughs> I think he was missing one yesterday that I was diving. <laughs> and he got it. He's like, checked. I'm complete. But I don't know. But statistics don't mean anything. Like, you but, can but see it in the body card, language. But that yellow card is to keep, like, the curse of all the all, all the things on Earth. If he didn't receive yeah, yeah, a yeah, yellow yeah. card, the apocalypse has <laughs> arrived. So uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Give the balance of the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, but, uh, I, I want I want to emphasize in something. I want to emphasize in something. I think that it's a good decision from Arteta to give him a chance uh, to someone who who grow 
a, a grown person in the in the club like Enketia. And and look, this is also something that we can criticize as we criticize the Saliva loans. And look how it is going on. You know? Yeah, you I shouldn't think, have gone. I, we knew I, that though. Is the I, difference. I think, I, I think we we did a yes, it's different, but it's the same. It's a it's a, situa, it's a decision very criticized, but maybe I I trust in Arteta, so maybe he knows something else <laughs> that we don't know. Yes, and and some and let me tell you something about it. I think I don't know why I think they did they did a deal like the Marsella uh, um, DT a technical uh, I don't know a coach with Arteta because it's like hey take this bad man when do see take him like you and get me this get this other player saliva improve him let him play regularly and i will give you this piece of uh, a friend <laughs> when those see as uh, very cheap <laughs> and it's your problem now and everything went well everything went perfect we did like two we, we killed two birds with the same shoot so i think this in Ketia case is the same. It's a decision that we can criticize, but maybe there is something behind that we don't know. That we don't know. I don't know. That, that is what I think. I know. Let, let me say, let me put this, let me present this case to you guys, right? Where, where is Nuno Tavares? He's just been loaned out, hasn't he? Yeah. Why has he been loaned out? Because we think because... that he's not ready to play in the Premier League, right? Yes. He needs to what happened to William Saliba? He didn't get to play in the, in the Premier League, but he got loaned out before even playing one game in the Premier League. Mm. But the thing with Saliba and Arteta said it, and I, I will have to I will have to cheer him up for that. He was very clear with him and also with us as a fans. He said that uh, um, Saliba wasn't going to get those minutes in order to show himself off or also to improve. He did the proper procedure, the same that as he did with Emil Smith Rowe when they sent him to Germany. They want a player to develop himself, to get minutes, to feel comfortable, to play regularly, for them to be ready to play with us. I think that with Saliba, we knew we knew for the amount of money that we paid for him that well we should give him a chance. But in the end, it, he he made the right move. They allowed him to go to a team where he could play every single minute. He was able to show off. He was called to the national team, and that's what we needed. Now he, we, we came with, it's a brand new player. Now we don't have a player that needs to adapt to the league. We don't need a player that needs to know how he plays. Now we, we, we're having now an experienced player with international games, and that's what he's showing. Look how mature he looked yesterday. So I think that that's the right way in order to develop a player. Now we're going to talk about a new contract extension. He is very young. That's what we have to keep in mind, that we are loaning young players that we want to develop. Now that you mentioned Nuno Tavares, well, the last season, he didn't do well. He was irregular. He had some good games, but it was more the, the games that he had, that he didn't play well and now he needs to go to a team that they are going to give him the minutes maybe that's what he needs to be a regular starter to show his proof to to check if 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 we need him or if we're able to use him for the upcoming seasons but that i, I think that we are doing good in in the case of loaning players we need to develop them and make them show that they are worthy to play in our team. Yeah, I mean, with Saliva, it was complicated because when we bought Saliva, we had a deal with San Etienne that we had to send him back on loan the same yeah. year. And then uh, in the next season, he, I think he wasn't ready. Yeah, he, he wasn't going to replace uh, the center backs that we had. And last year, we were not even playing any extra competitions we were not even in europa so he was even going to play less uh yes, and with marseille he was even playing champions league so yeah it was a good deal for us and i think um maybe we could have communicated with him better because there was a point where he said oh these guys just bought me they are sending me away and they don't want me but i think that has been really i think the guy is really really good we need him now because we have an extra competition 
and also because um, we have problems with the right back and the left back uh, because Tomiyasu and Tierney are not there. So sometimes we have to put Ben White on the right, which actually he's really good. I think, I mean, he's decent because he's, that's not his natural position. So we have more space for him because we will put Gabriel, Saliva, and then Ben White, and he can fit on that team. But um, yeah, the previous season, it was a lot of competition within for that position. But it was it was complicated because we didn't play as many games. Mm. And let me add something regarding this. Uh, Nuno Tavares, we had we had urgency last season in the left back. We have urgency. Now we have Sinchenko. And it, last season, we needed Nuno Tavares. Maybe he was not ready. Maybe yes, but uh, we don't know. We Maybe he it. was not ready, but we yeah. have the, the urgency. That is that is the point. In this moment, we have Sinchenko and Tierney. So we, we can send Nuno Tavares to improve his playing and his confidence in Marsella and the I think there is a treat between coaches. I don't know why, but uh, and Saliba, as Alf is mentioning, doesn't have any space last season because we we didn't have a lot of matches. So I think that is the difference, uh, 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 Alex. That is that is why Nuno Tavares. We have Nuno Tavares one season because we have another jersey in the left back and, mm. and in the central back no. Uh, Aldrich, do you think this team uh, we have, this, the squad, can, can win the Premier League? And, and if not, why, why not? I think that um, what we're doing is like what happened with Klopp. If you take a look at Klopp's first seasons, he had to remove a lot of players that um, he didn't need, that the squad didn't need. That, that what happened with Arteta in the first two seasons. Now he has a complete squad, but I think that um, for us to be ready to to win a Premier League, this exact team has to keep together for at least two more seasons. So for us to have, well, our main enemy, well, besides injuries that are our main enemy, um, yeah. the consistency. We are not a consistent team. That's what we are looking to improve. If you take a look, Arsenal doesn't play bad. Um, last season, we we were one game away of of having the the fourth spot, but our main enemy is the consistency. With this team that we currently have, I think that we can aspire to win the Europa League. But we are not as solid as a Manchester City or a Liverpool because if you see those teams, those teams are created and they've been playing together for more than three seasons. This is the season for us to make a statement. And I think that we can talk about winning a Premier League in the upcoming season or in the next two. Mm -hmm. uh, due, due to that, due to that, I'm not saying that we're not good enough to win it, but they need to keep playing together and have that consistency that we need. We have to keep a good run up of, of, of winning games. We don't have to lose points as we did last season or uh, on our previous season. If you see, we if, if we play against a top four, we had like that feeling that we were going to lose and we were even uh, losing with relegation teams when we were in good form. So we, 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 have to, we have to keep that in mind. We cannot talk about winning the Premier League at least this season, but I hope that this team gets together, they connect together, and we can see um, the Arsenal that we are that we are respecting, the Arsenal that we were used to, the Arsenal that we saw growing up. Mm -hmm. And what what's the difference? Uh, what's the difference of the Arsenal back in the day on the Invincible era to this one? That um, if if you saw the Invincibles, that team was created like since 1996. You see the players when when we saw like a Tony Adams retiring. We saw uh, so Campbell coming, but um, now with this youth, with this young team, I know that we can do good things once we show that 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 improvement of consistency. That's all we need. I'm not talking about uh, destroying the teams or winning four zero. No, we have to even if it's one zero every game, but we have to to keep winning to have. Um, four, five, six games winning and we can lose because that's that that's something that happens in football and with every team. 
but I, I hope that we get that consistency. So the upcoming signings that we have is not to replace a player, is to build a better team. That That's how I see the Arsenal in the future. Sure. That's why we have a young squad. So I hope that those young players get experience enough so they can adapt to the league and know that we have a well-structured team. Jonathan, if, if, if Mikel doesn't secure top four, is his job in, in, in danger? He needs to improve. What is to improve? What position we finished last season in Premier League? Five. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to say this. I don't want to say it. I think we need to improve. And what is improve? Uh, maybe if we stay in... Fa no, we need to go to Champions League. But maybe exactly. we can go to Champions League with FA Cup or with Euro uh, Europe League. And this is improve. That mm. is improved. So there is a main, there are multiple ways to say that he improved. So I don't think that only four position in Premier League is improvement. Maybe we win the FA Cup and fifth position in Premier League. Maybe we win the Europe League and and fifth in in, in Premier League is improvement. But what is more important is consist consistency. Mm -hmm. That is what Aldrich saying because in a sports in 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 a sport like football, uh, we need to. To, to understand that it's not like FIFA or PlayStation. No, no, no that is different. It's like you need to to get a, 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 a ah now you are seeing in the in the city in in all or nothing. You need to to see the team from inside. You need to to get them in a competition. I don't like, for example, I don't like the Mourinho's way. He he go to a club. Or before he used to go to a club, he used to make them maybe champions or whatever. But on next year, the club was broken, a the a mess, a lot of problems. You know, I I think we are looking for consistency for multiple years because this is a young team. So, for answer your <laughs> your question, he needs to improve, and there are a lot of points in order to cover that improvement. But you know what, um, Jonathan, before I go to, um, to Alfie, you know, I get asked a lot of questions, you know, when I do my live shows. And one thing that comes up is the fact that he spent £400 million. And with that investment, wherever it's come from, they, they want the success. They want yeah. the success. So does he have time? I don't think he has time. Does he have no, time? He doesn't have time. But I am telling you, he needs to improve. But not only for his improvement. Mm. There are a lot of points, but we need Champions League for sure. That that for me that is the is the measure. Champions League. That right. is the measure. He needs to go to Champions League. That is improvement. Alfie. Um the process, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, we have the process, um, but, but we made mistakes, simple mistakes, simple, simple mistakes that would have um help us in the future for example i didn't understand why we renew his contract before securing champions league football um because he was he was giving up the the hope that we had the improvement i understand that they are different things that in in entail that but um no that was that was just wait for the season to be over and then we renew him but he was giving up before actually trying to get the Champions League football. He needs to improve. I don't think he's going to go. Even if he does badly this season, he's going to stay. And I think that he has a window of this season, this season and the next one. If he doesn't improve on the next one, for sure, and um, that's securing Champions League football, fighting for FA Cup or, or doing, I don't know, good quarterfinals if we qualify this this season um then yeah i think his job will be in danger but not for this one not for the next one i think mm. that, that um, depends i think that his job will be in jeopardy if we miss champions league and we don't win any trophies one thing i heard about edu on a previous interview is that we have to take out of our minds that being on the top four it's it's like the goal 
He wants yeah. to win trophies. Yeah. He wants the team yeah. to to make a statement and win trophies. And that's the mentality that we should have. But we have yeah. to be realistic. We are not at the same level as Liverpool and City. But I think that like going to the Champions League and winning Europa League or winning the FA Cup, um, that would be a huge plus for us because that's what we need in this case. If we win a trophy, all the players will see how big is the club. If you see the celebration that we had on the FA Cup and then the trophy draw, that celebration of of that cup was something unbelievable. I haven't seen it when Manchester City is champion. I didn't see it when Chelsea went champion because we are a, a huge club and, and all the players have to realize that on, on the place that they are. So um, I trust the process. I trust the process. But I think that if Arteta doesn't give us any trophy this season and doesn't qualify for Champions League, he will be out. Yeah, and, and not so much that, but it's more that um, all the faith will be lost and all of the process can crumble and then Saka will be playing for Bayern Munich. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what will happen like honestly if if they if he doesn't get anything this season yes he's gonna stay but he's gonna stay with a squad that is gonna be sad with a squad that is going to be struggling with you know motivation mentality all those things so i think he knows that there is no pressure because it's a process but there is still pressure because he needs to keep his players motivated. Mm. But I what about the point I... that um, Aldrick said, literally, that he they need to, this team needs to stay together. If they're going to compete and win major mm -hmm. honours, they need to stay together. So mm -hmm. sacking Mikel Arteta at the end of the season, if he doesn't achieve top four or Champions League, is not is not going to help the the process because they need to stay together. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it would. It would be really, really bad if we don't get uh, top four, but we should, especially because I think it's a mental thing. Like the last season, it was between us and Spurs, and you could see that Spurs wanted it, and we didn't want it as much. It, it was like, okay, if we get it, it's okay, but if we don't, maybe they are too young, and we were making excuses, and that's the mentality that I really don't like in some Arsenal fans. It's like, yes, you have to be real, but we are a club that should not be playing Europa League. Yeah. But everyone kind of assimilated now. Alfie, I will answer you. Why why they didn't sack Arteta because he didn't uh, um, go to Champions League? You will see it in the in the all or, all or nothing for sure. I think we will see it. I think I, that, I, I, that is the answer. That is the answer for sure. It's still camera. So anyway, so yeah, yeah, it's better. It's have better. You, have, okay. you, have you have you have you watched one of the of the of the of the of the episodes? Have you watched <laughs> one of no? Yeah, yeah, I just started, but I haven't, I haven't seen it because I was no watching spoilers. it before coming. No spoilers. But, um, no spoilers. You, no spoilers. <laughs> but no spoilers. but uh, I, I was two weeks ago in Rome and they were uh, revealing Divala. Now that's a clue. Like it was so big, it was massive. I saw that. I saw like that. it's one player and people think that he's going to save the club. Like that's, you know. That's the mentality, not that we need, but the push, because we are a big club. And I think we've been in the background for a long time, and it's time to step up and say, yes, we're young, yes, we're in a process, but yes, we can go to Champions League, we can, you know, push for it, and, and let's see how it goes. Because, um, yeah, even Arteta, he was saying that he pushed some players that he shouldn't have pushed, and... And yeah, hopefully we get a bigger squad and they start performing. I think, for example, in that game that he took Nuno after 30 minutes, I haven't watched the, the documentary yeah. yet. Yeah, uh, he, he did it with good reason because that boy was playing. I was like, yeah, just take him out. And he was really upset. It's fine, but uh, he needs to start making decisions. But um, but it, it yeah. is explained in the all or nothing. Um, Jonathan, how much more time do you have? With us, do you... no, I'm not leaving you. I'm just leaving, but I will stay in my cell phone. Oh, okay, so. okay, all right. I'll go into the live chat anyway. Um, there's a question for for uh, Aldrich. Uh, what... That is a perfect moment. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Aldrich, uh, what two signings would you would the panel like to see by transfer window closed? Well, um, honestly, um, I will I will sign another another central midfielder in case of Parte and Chaka gets injured. We have El Nene and Sambi, but we know that uh, those two are backup players. Um, I know that that Yuri Tillmans is been is been a player that we were talking about a lot to to be on the team. That would be a, a great improvement, and he 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 is a top player. I think that we need competition on on that on that place of the midfield, and I hope that we can sign a right back. Uh, Cedric doesn't convince me at all. Again, um, right now for this season, I'm supporting each and every single player that we have on our squad. But I hope that we can we can sign one more central midfield and a right back. If we get another striker, not a winger, a striker, a number nine, um, that that will be great too because we need competition in 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 all in in all positions. But I think that the two signings that that will help the the team will be a right back and a central midfielder. Hmm. Alfie, for you, um, I think defensively we have sorted. Um, yeah. Yes, I agree. Cedric is not the best, but Cedric is versatile. Like he can play, you know, just cover the position. He can go on the left. He can go on the right. Or we can throw Ben White on the right. That's good. I mean, I think in the back we we can play with what we have. Uh, with midfielder, I think we over rely a bit on um, on Odegaard. Uh, Smith Rowe is good, but he has been having some injury problems. Uh, so yeah, um, I think we need to have probably two more midfielders. Um, I've said it before. I'm not a fan of Shaka. I've never been. And Partey is not the Partey of Atletico de Madrid. Yeah. He's just not that player that we bought. And everyone's like, oh, but when he plays, he's really good. It's like, yeah, but sometimes he doesn't even play. He doesn't turn up. He doesn't shoot from the outside because he used to put them in the corners. Yeah. Not anymore. Um, so, yeah, I would I would get Tillemans and probably um, someone else. But someone that already plays in the, in the Champions League. Maybe Madison or Trossard, maybe. I don't know. But, um, hmm. yeah, definitely two midfielders, I would say. Just to have a big depth of the squad, or maybe because sometimes even if you have a really really good midfielder, um, the ideas don't flow. Even when we had, um, you know, when we had old seal, or when we had, um, it's just it's not working. You need someone like to change the rhythm of the of the game, and El Neni cannot do that. He's really good, and I think um, for the amount of money that we pay, he he's a good squad player. But he's not the player that is going to change you, you know, a difficult, rainy away day at Stoke. <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay. Christian uh, Orozco um, says, who, who, who's that? Is that from Costa Rica or, or Colombia? Christian. I think it's Colombia. Yeah. It's, it's, it's... Colombia. Okay. Well, he says, shirt numbers are somewhat of a symbol. Remember when Erdogan was signed for uh, us, Arteta told him, jokingly, watch out with that number. <laughs> watch out with that number. Be careful. Oh, my goodness. Uh, one more comment here. Uh, let's, let's have a look here. Sherry says, uh, Pura Vida. I imagine that's, um, that's a friend. That's yeah, my cousin. Costa Rica. And her that, big hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andre says, my boy Aldrich. Oh, wow, my goodness. Yeah. Shout uh, out to Dorito. That's that's his nickname. <laughs> okay. Uh, Don says, um, Mick, Mick Arteta needs to give his um, instructions and sit on the bench for a game to see the game from a sitting position. What what about that, uh, Aldrich? What do you think about that? He needs to sit down. Well, uh, it, that that that's... I think that that's irrelevant. I think that every manager has his own his own style of living their games. If I were a coach, I wouldn't be able to be sit down. I need to stay on my feet and keep yeah, shouting. It's the personality of each coach. Yeah, you yeah. have to keep in mind that he used to be a player. A player is never sit down. He he was a player that 
was and he was a starter for our team. He was a starter for Everton. So we we have to keep that in mind. I think that it's impossible for him to sit down. I think that the only way that he's gonna be sit down is because he's he's watching a national team game or an under twenty three game. But <laughs> for for the first team that that and, and and that's something that I like because I I, I will not criticize Arsen at all. But something that I didn't like about Wenger is that he was just sitting there. You when the when the team was playing bad or if the team was playing well, he was sat down there and he was saying nothing to the players. On the other hand, you see Arteta screaming, shouting, filling the game, uh, uh, arranging his players and making an accommodation. So I I think that that's the way he feels the game, and that that that's impossible. He he's not gonna sit down at all. We yeah. we we're not gonna see that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a different I, culture because uh, Wenger is French and he was a little bit older and experienced. Arteta is young and Spanish, so yeah, it's going to be complicated. <laughs> but um, there is a little documentary as well that where Fabregas says why he went to Arsenal. And he said, Oh, I went into a room with Wenger and I felt the presence. And that's quite impressive as well. Even if you yeah. don't say anything, just people having the utmost respect for you and your character. That says a lot. And he, like Wenger, he used to say, this is what we have to do. Like, you already know, and I yeah. trust you. And he keep people calm, and he overcover his players. He never threw anyone under the bus, even though they should have been. Um, it's a different thing, of course. But uh, I like the shouting. I like the spirits. I like the, come on, let's go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Jonathan, can you hear us? Alex. I just I just lost uh, for IT in the in the in the chat. Is it it's him? Is that about Saka? No. The, the, no. Well, no. No. Okay. Go on. Yeah. Saka. I think that you on the right Saka. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That's my roommate. Don't pay attention to him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jonathan, can you, can you hear me? A quick question: uh, Which two more signings yeah. would, you, would you like uh, Arsenal uh, to buy? Which players? Two players. We need Kylian Mbappe. We need him. He is the he is the right person in this moment. Anything else for two person more, but only. Okay, you, you're with Tillemans. I didn't hear the other player. Yeah, I think that you see it now. He's kind of breaking up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, just a couple more comments in the live chat. Uh, what was the one I want to go to? I've lost it now. Uh, I've, I've lost it. Uh, all right, so CM Wargame says, um, I think we need a Tillemans or Savage uh, and a forward that covers all uh, front three positions. But that wasn't the comment I was looking for. I was looking for... Uh, I've lost it. And Arteta said it yesterday after the game that he has, that he's still looking to sign at least one or two more players. I hope that fills out uh, the proper the proper positions because if you see... Another mistake that we made was not reinforcing the team on on the winter uh, on on the winter break. Um, that cost us that cost us uh, the Champions League spot because injuries attack, and that's something that we have to to keep that in mind. Injuries and Arsenal. I don't know what's the love story between them, but it has. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't you think it's we're okay? We're we're okay for the moment. So yeah. Yes, but but if 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 there is one or two injuries, even three, because that's something that happens to us every single season, we need to we need to have uh, the the proper backups. One thing I, I would like to say is that you mentioned that Cedric covers a a, a position of a left back or a right back. He's ver that he's so versatile. It's an advantage. But what we need is that every player that comes into the pitch, they need to make a difference. Even if it's not a yeah. starting, or even if if he doesn't play enough minutes, we need to have a player that arrives and makes a difference. Let me go back in time. 
you you saw on the transition from the invincibles well from hybrid to the emirates you saw that um to give you an example we lose lumber but then we we have players arriving young players like Leb, like rosicky when they were young and and, and wenger signed them you saw that they were a special players when we when we sell uh, when when we sold Vieira to Juventus and a young Diaby arrived, you know that that was a special player. Even though when they came to the team and they weren't playing that much, when they step up on the pitch, they were making a statement. They were making a difference, and I think that this is what we need the most. If we are going to sign a player, is not just to fill a spot; is for them to come and make a difference, like we're doing with Sinchenko. He's going to play for that left back position with Tierney. We love Tierney. We know his qualities. He's been showing in, 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 in a short time his, that, that he's worth of playing for this batch. But this is what we need. This is not just to fill out a position. It's so they can come and help us. Because if we have an injury, we, if we have an injury, we're done. And that's what has been happening during all this season. Remember season 13-14? We were we were at top of the league on December. Santi Casorla got injured and the team went completely down. So that's what we need. In case that our main players get injured, that the backup says, "Okay, I'm here. I will keep doing his job or even better." Mm. Yeah, that I agree. No more judges and nobles or Marwan Shamax. <laughs> Correct. That's right. <laughs> After seeing Liverpool play, Chelsea having an awful transfer window and United still in the mud. I'm um, now firm believer Arsenal will finish second. I Why actually first, believe man? that, yeah. Why not? Why not first, man? Second? Uh, that's what I think, yeah. yeah. Come, on, come on, man. What's, what's going that's on? the mentality we have to, to keep. But to the people who want Arsenal to be first or second, please don't lose your heads. In case that we lose, please don't start cursing or <laughs> giving bad vibes to the yeah. team if if we're going to a bad run of games we are all in this together this is a message that i want to give to all the arsenal fans we are improving you you, you cannot blame cranky you cannot blame edu you cannot blame arteta because they are doing their proper jobs now the players that are on the team Again, if it's Pepe, if it's Chaka, if it's Jesus, the, the player, whoever you want to call, you have to support them. You have to support the team. I think that they need that. We we heard our players by going to the social media and saying bad things about them or saying bad things about their families. We have to stick as a team, stick as a fans. Remember that um, Arsenal is represented not also for the players on, on the pitch, we need to represent the club the proper way, and the best way to do it is supporting the whole season. It doesn't matter the results. Yeah, well, well done, Albert, man. Hey, that's, 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 yeah. Do you, do you hear me? Go on, John. Do you that? I cannot hear you, Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan, we can't. You, you're oh, breaking up. It's better? Now it's better? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now? Yes. Listen, Ramsdale has to has to mute the comments in his social to to to, to Arsenal. That is unfair. That is really unfair. So, for example, what uh, Aldrick is is telling: if we lose a match or two matches or don't happen, don't go. Just support your players. Don't do what we did with arrived to Arsenal. Hmm. Well said. Uh, Alfie, you want to say something before we close the show? Yes. Uh, if Shaka plays bad, I'm going to say it. <laughs> no, it, it's not that I bash on the guy. I just don't think that he's good enough in the same way that I just don't think Enketia is good enough. Yes, we have to support them. Uh, yes, I hope that they, you know, complete a function. But uh, honestly, I don't expect much. It's been a long time. We already know what, what they do. and. Yeah, but Alfie, he didn't have a bad game yesterday, did he, Shaka? I thought he played better than than um, yeah. Party yesterday. Yeah, yeah, probably. But the thing is, that position is very, very important, and he always passes sideways. Like he's always playing the safe pass, 
and he's not ambitious yeah. enough. I don't know. I just, I just, I just think that it's better if he moves on and I move on and Arsenal <laughs> moves on because, because yeah, that, that that's not how I feel about him. It's just, it's just not good enough. For example, like Walcott, we try a lot with him, and it, it was it got to a point where it's not working for anyone. I think the same as for Pepe. Like, yeah, we spent a lot of money on him. He wasn't the player that we were sold as an image. And it's better for him. It's better for us. It's better for the other one. Because you don't want to keep those kind of players around because they bring negativity to the club as well. Because they say, oh, they don't give me enough opportunities and I know that I'm good enough. Well, go show it. And that's it. Yeah. But um, no, I agree. I agree. We definitely have to support. I again, I have a feeling that this season is going to be really, really good. But um, we will have to it's wait and see. It's not going to be easy. The toxic one, yeah, to be definitely, easy. because <laughs> and now and now she is on that. You know, in that moment that she starts, no, I'm going to be good. No, I'm going to behave. And then you go, okay, I believe you again. <laughs> Do you know what? We have to end the show. We've got, we're going to end the show. But, it, uh, you know, I, d I, I don't know. Maybe we might try and do like a regular segment on a Saturday with, with uh, uh, Miss Edmanos, my, my brothers here. But we'll, we'll, I'll be talking to them once we go off the air. But listen, it's it's been too long, Aldrick, man. It's been too long to get you back onto the channel. Thank you for, for giving us your time. You don't have to do this. You don't have to come onto the channel. But... Thank you for coming back on, on Canon 4 TV, brother. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, I would like to add something else for the people. Don't forget to subscribe to Canon 4 TV on YouTube. You can follow them also on Twitter. You have to, and, and I'm going to give you a good advice. This is something that I've been doing in the past two years. If you have a, a, a site, a, a Facebook page, an Instagram page, or Twitter, whoever you call it, on social media that they are attacking the players that they are that they are showing just bad vibes remove them you have channels like canon Fodder tv that they will inform you about the team that they will that they will be realistic on what's going on with the team so you can have all that good vibes you have to you have to feed yourself with good things and this is a great channel for me it's a pleasure to be here we will see uh, uh, for sure on this season i'll be i'll be back even if it's going bad or if it's going good I, I i will promise that i'll be back for this season because we have a lot of good things to talk about the thing and, and that's for sure thank you brother thank you uh, uh alfie cheeky chaffy man yeah, yeah thank you it's been a long time but it's fun always to do this also uh follow colombia gunner i'm supposed to be more active on that but <laughs> You know, it, it happens, and uh, Jonathan is gonna tell me off for that, but anyway, and uh, yeah, let, let's go into half a half fun. But I do, I really, really want to go back to Champions League because yeah. I'm in Europe now, I can go see a home game, or I can go to Italy, Spain, that's where I want to go. I don't really don't want to go to you know, Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, don't do it. Croatia, beautiful country, lovely people, but it's just you know. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> thank you, man. Jonathan. <laughs> Can you hear me? Uh, we can't hear you, brother. No, nope, I think it's good. Subscribe to uh, Canon Fodder TV. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And Colombia Gunners, there you and go. Colombia Gunners, well. right. But, but listen, <laughs> so, so we, we've come to an end on this this uh, special. Maybe it might not be just a one-off show. We'll have to see how we get on. Uh, you know, everyone's got their lives to lead. It's not all about podcasting. Um, but yeah. yeah, guys, thank you so very much for giving me your time. I and uh, I will it, be back um, tomorrow. I might be back tomorrow morning. I, I, actually, I won't be. I'm away with, with my wife. So there's there's no show tomorrow. But um, guys, thank you for giving me your undivided uh, time. Now, in, in, in Costa Rica, ellos tienen un dicho, pura vida. In, in Colombia, ¿qué? Todo bien, todo bien. Todo bien, todo bien. Okay, yes. bueno, todo bien. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so uh, that is it. Uh, thank you for giving us your time, and make sure that you do subscribe. And this um, has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Pura